Hi, this is Gus from 3dplearner.com and in this very short video I want to show you my version of the CMU mocap dataset that I have uh, converted to FBX. So the CMU mocap dataset is a like the most popular dataset used for uh, showing off and comparing machine learning models and deep learning models that deal with uh, motion capture. Uh, this is the link for the original data set and it consists of over 2,000 motions from over 100 subjects doing all different kinds of uh, actions. Not only locomotive actions but uh, a lot of different kinds of, of things. So here you can see a list of all these movements and you can see that the, the movements they are uh, provided in this ASF format, which is the Acclaim format, and there is not many softwares that you can read these type of files in. You can read them in Motion Builder, but, but I guess that's it. Like Maya won't read it. I think 3ds Max doesn't read it uh, neither. So uh, I think most people, when they use the, the CMU mocap dataset, they use this conversion that has been done to BVH. And BV, which is right here. And there are some softwares there with BVH, like Motion Builder. And I guess in 3ds Max, you can use it in Biped and maybe in CAT. Uh, but that's it. It's also not very uh, widely adopted, although both of these formats are easy to parse. So what I have done is I have created a FBX, FBX conversion from the, this original BVH version. And I'm providing this uh, in our uh, blog, 3D Learner, and you can download it there. And uh, it's not just a conversion, I have done some fixes. So I think if you're using uh, the, the CMU mocap for, uh, dataset for the first time, uh, it would be good to use this version because it, it has some advantages over other versions. Uh, so let me show you. I'm gonna import right here the motion, uh, some motions from the first subject in the BVH version to Motion Builder. So these are 14 motions from subject number one. So they share the skeleton, and but they are different clips. Okay, so uh, first thing you noticed is that the skeleton is really, really small. And I can show you by comparison with this actor. So this actor is uh, like close to a real human size. If you're streaming data from a uh, streaming data live from a mocap equipment, it would look more like this than like this. So there is a, a problem with the scale. That's the first thing you, you can notice. And the second thing is that uh, for every motion, you see that there is a T pose, but they uh, sometimes they vary in height. I mean, they vary in height uh, in every occasion, but sometimes they vary very abruptly, like this. Like here, the character is uh, really flying. And if you're using tipos to uh, normalize the size of your character or something like that, this would be really awful. Okay. Uh, the other thing I have fixed, so this, uh, in my version, this doesn't happen. Let me show you. Uh, so if I m import the FBX conversion right here. So I'll import the same motions from the same subject. And you see first that the character is at a decent scale and that all T poses have the same height. Okay, they're not in the same uh, global position in the, the bidimensional plane here, but uh, I kept them all at the same height. And the scale is uh, proper, so you can see it's comparable to, to the standard motion builder actor. Okay, and then the final thing is that some clips in the, in the BVH version, they have the wrong uh, frame rate. So if you see one of the clips is the, I mean, the, one of the subjects is uh, the subject number 33. So both clips right here, they have the wrong, the wrong uh, frame rate. So you can see 
it says right here it's a 120 FBX clip, but when you go to the original uh, spreadsheet with all the data, you see that subject number 33 is actually was actually captured at 60 frames per second. So when you import this, it gets really weird. The speed is all messed up. Okay, so I have fixed all those also. And when you try to import, for example, uh, subject number 33, you see, let me see right here, 33, you see it's going to import at the proper frame rate and it doesn't look funny. Okay, so if you want to download, uh, you know where to, to do it, 3dplearning.com uh, slash cmu dash fbx. And in the next video, I'm going to show you an example on how to train a model using this data. Okay, thank you very much. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to our channel and share uh, our content. Thanks.